As a former legend who's played a million games on Thanksgiving, what is that like uh, for a football player? Well, I mean, for most football players, it would be exciting. But I think for Lion players, that becomes kind of our Super Bowl but since we haven't been to any. So that's been a tough thing. <laughs> I hate to get after us like that, but uh, that's a big game for us. It's a big game for the fans, and it's become a, a longstanding tradition. But as a player, like as a human being, uh, uh, does is it hard to, to play on Thanksgiving when it's a day you're supposed to be with your family and watch football and stuff? Is it What is that like, that dynamic like? No, I enjoy it. I mean, it's a uh, it's a short week, so that means you get one less day or two less days of practice, which is great as a player. <laughs> and then you get a long weekend off after that. But uh, for me, you know, I'm staying away. You get a lot of family, you get a lot of big family coming up, so you're a little bit longer away from them too. So before you got to go deal with the chaos. Did you know teammates that didn't like it, or was it pretty unanimous? Like this is this is fine. This is just something we do. No, all the guys loved it. It was uh, it was a, a big tradition. It's always been that way. It's a big buzz in the stadium. And anyone who watches, I mean, you're the only show on town. I mean, and also across the nation, you only got yourself. And then they added the second game, Dallas Cowboys. But they, they added them as that second game. But uh, it used to be just we were just the only only show. So that was, that was a good deal. So it's almost like uh, it, it was better and cooler that, hey, this is kind of where the all eyes are on us, despite, you know, everybody else being with their family and having, having a good time eating dinner, right? It is, because everyone comes out and they got the crazy co- their costumes on, they got the crazy fans, you know, you're always guaranteed at least three or four brawls. Uh, the guys are out there fighting in the stands and the, 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 all kind of things happening outside this, the field itself. So um, Thanksgiving, man, what can you say? It's, it's a big day. It's a big game day. Um, it's a lot surrounding that we're all looking at things to be thankful for and all that. So, uh, I've enjoyed it. I had the opportunity to play it with the lions for 11 seasons and uh, do Thanksgiving day games. So that became something we look forward to every year. Is there a favorite off the field moment of a Thanksgiving day game that you like? Maybe a moment you share with Barry or, or your teammates or something like that. Uh, you know, afterwards, everyone just wants to get home. And after you're done, after Thanksgiving, you know, the one when we had, I think we played the Minnesota Vikings. Scott Mitchell had over 400 yards passing. All the receivers, myself, Johnny Morton, Brett Perriman had 100 yards receiving. Barry Sanders had 100 yards rushing. And we all got that four-legged turkey. <laughs> all right, eight legs. I don't know how many legs were on that turkey that uh, Madden or those guys used to have. But uh, actually, it was really good, too. It was a good it was a good turkey leg, roasted turkey leg. So that, that was pretty cool. That was probably the best time after the game is getting that. So tell me more about the turducken. Uh, everybody, that's a legendary thing John Madden used to do. I, what what does it taste like? I mean, is it, is it chicken inside of a duck? Like, uh, I don't know. Uh, you know what? I'm scared to even ask because they were probably doing some genetic stuff back then that we didn't know about because that was probably actual different legs that that turkey had versus just uh, the normal. So I don't know, man. It was – I don't think, man, I lost all my hair after eating that too. So I don't know, man. I should probably go back and evaluate that one. I don't know. <laughs>